Hello dear friends, how are you? This is Tarikul Islam comes again with a new episode of my parenting series and this is my 22nd episode. It's a great pleasure for me to conduct this video to be able conducting this video up to 22nd episode successfully and I am also be happy that I am being connected with you with this video series from about a uh, last uh, few months. So, uh, this is my 22nd episode and on this episode today I will discuss another important thing that is teach your baby telling truth from the early age of his life. We know that telling a lie is a very bad, very negative virtue, negative habit and everybody dislikes telling a lie. And telling truth is very important for uh, as it is a novel virtue of human being. But a matter of great uh, surprise that when our babies start telling a lie from their very early age like their ages or two or three on that time we sometimes appreciate them we don't even know that we are appreciating them encouraging them to tell a lie how, how uh, whenever a baby tell a lie we react some positively that we say that look how nicely the baby is creating a lie or what a beautiful lie the baby is saying this is motivate him that he thinks that he is doing something better, he is doing something positive, but actually it doesn't. So, at first, we should be concerned about that our babies should not be encouraged to tell a lie. Whenever they will tell a lie or tell a false estimate, we should correct him and we should point out that you have tell a lie. It is very bad thing. Don't do it repeatedly. Otherwise, people will not like you. People will dislike you and people will try to avoid you if you continuously do that. And if we can confirm that that telling a lie is a very negative thing, then they will not do it spontaneously. The second important thing is you sh should avoid telling lie in front of your baby because when you will use a, a false estimate to say in front of your baby, they will think that it is very common. Everybody say, my father say, my mother say, so we should say. But actually, uh, it is not right. So, uh, don't create any bad example in front of your baby. Uh, we many times create bad examples like uh, anybody is uh, calling you in mobile phone and looking for you you say your baby that say that uh, I'm not in home I'm uh, busy now but you are not uh, in uh, any business and you are at the uh, side of mobile so the, your baby will think that it is very common that saying lie uh, that I'm not here or sometimes uh, anybody is uh, knocking your door and looking for you you are telling your baby that say that uh, my uh, your father that means me i am not uh, staying at home i am going to market or any other uh, but you are staying at home so when your baby is imposed by you to say a lie then he will think that on his conscious and subconscious mind that it is nothing uh, everybody uh, say mis uh, uh, false estimate uh, lie so we should also say it so don't train your baby to say any false estimate, to say a lie. This is second important thing. And the third important thing is, that is uh, the final stage to teach them telling a truth is you have to train your baby telling truth. How you will train your baby? When they say any false estimate or you will judge, you may judge that he is saying or he is hiding something, then you have to treat him psychologically. You have to understand him that it is not justice, that you are hiding any truth from yourself or it is not a proper way to hide something and uh, to covering something and misguiding others. It is very negative and sometimes you may give some example like different stories from uh, Ishop or from religious uh, spirit. You may some uh, statement, some stories to your baby about the bad sides, negative impacts of telling a lie and you will find a lot of moral stories in internet if you will search uh, about a uh, stories about a uh, telling a lie or stories about truthfulness you will find a lot of stories real life examples and you may when you will say this stories this uh, real life examples to your baby then it will be put on his mind that uh, telling truth is very beneficial for me it is a pride that i am not tell any lie and when they will be proud about not telling a lie and saying truth every time, then they will try to do it. 
that is the third important thing and if you do these three consecutive works regularly that uh, you are not creating any bad example you are not saying any false statement in front of your baby and uh, you are not encouraging them and you are training them to say truth you are motivating them then they will be able to say truth every time and other noble virtues will also be developed on them when they will start to try to say everything truth because every noble virtue is related with truth that i will one day uh, discuss about any next other video so today i will finish saying that don't uh, misguide your son because most of the son most of the daughters are being misguided due to the lackens of knowledge of their parents and wrong guideline of their parents so follow the straight line of parenting's rules and regulations and make your baby perfectly so thank you very much i'll come again another day with another video stay home stay safe bye